All right, everyone, welcome back to the Motor Van So today we're coming back to uh, LA, spe specifically the Bricky HQ. Um, if you guys remember last week, we had uh, Rivals and Coffee here. And uh, ironically, the same location is hosting another meet. This time, they ended up hosting uh, some cars from SEMA. So that's pretty cool. Obviously, uh, you guys know that I wasn't able to go to SEMA. Um, so they're gonna be showcasing some of them. I think it's gonna be extremely packed just by driving in here it's really really packed so we shall see hopefully we can get in and out um somewhat quick um and get some nice uh coverage for you guys but it's super super packed so i had to park really far this time so a lot of cool cars though for sure so we'll catch you guys there all right so i'm not gonna lie guys um i think right away coming in <laughs> i'm already excuse me i'm already checking out some cars and i'm like uh oh, this is definitely not my taste um even though they're you know very very expensive i go you know i go straight to uh to this ef um i think is uh owned by wong um this car has been and it's been it's co been covered um it also was at the peterson museum for a very long time and so that's pretty cool and um it's interesting uh, I'll share a story with you guys regarding this car. Uh, there was, it kind of sucks that they stopped doing it, but there was a YouTube channel called, I think, Bowls. Bowls, I think that's what it was. B O W L L S. Not like balls. And, um, oh, this is pretty. And uh, they did, uh, it was like a, you know, tell us about your car and then go to your favorite joint. And I think they went to get some pastrami somewhere in LA. And they did a review on his car and I, I don't know it was definitely one of my favorite um cars that were showcased and that's how i know about that car and you guys know how much i love these 997s and 996 and 991s and so this is so nice so pretty very nice and i've seen this car at different events such as um san clemente cars and coffee things like that so yeah Porsche. I know that the, the, you know, Mercedes Benz is like super expensive and super fast, but I don't know. I'm definitely gonna be covering cars that only cover, uh, only grab my attention. So if I don't show your car, don't take it personal. It's just it's not my cup of tea. I like these wheels from Rotiform. Very nice. Gives the this Audi uh, a different look. And this is what I'm into. You know, 80s, 90s. Um, now these are not you know leaky oil 80 90s cars because these guys are do take care of their cars very nicely but yeah i mean i that's what i like man and this one's right hand drive so that's pretty cool definitely nice to see super nice definitely like the the little okay okay swing door thingy and uh you guys can tell very nice interior so so nice nice shifter too I really like the height of the shifters, very uh, close to the steering wheel. And uh, obviously the wheels, it's just, they, they do justice. It definitely goes with this chassis. So definitely, definitely great job on this 11 front end, uh, AE86. And then we got uh, Run Free 86 here. Uh, Team Garage Life, if I'm not mistaken, our buddy Hector Levario is part of it. And um, yeah, man, this car, uh, it just got new wheels. If I'm not, it could be that those are the wheels that he had on this one. Um, but yeah, he had those wheels. And this is cool. I don't even know if this is, I think, the same owner. I could be wrong, but um, yeah, this is definitely what we like. This is uh, the cars that attract me the most. And um, again, it could be a wide body Lamborghini. It, it's cool, but it just doesn't. I can't relate, you know. Um, like this wagon, sick, beautiful, beautiful, very nice. You know, our buddy Ho, um, he has one of these wagons, and I wasn't a big fan of them prior to it. But as, the more I see them, um, this one's I think the the Evil Two, some type of like racing. It has a racing pedigree, and uh, the more you see it, the more you get into it. Um, so definitely giving props where props are due and this is where it's at cool another supra mk5 very nice very aggressive wheel entire setup add a couple more things 
This is nice. Uh, I think this is. Uh, I think he's, he might be one of the main organizers. He used to work for uh, Super Street or whoever, and now he's doing this thing. And yeah, he put some Rega Masters on his Supra, and it looks amazing. Super nice. White on white. Very nice fitment. Really, really like what he's done with it. Makes me want to race my car a little bit. So, you know, tells you that you can still have a little bit of wheel gap and and uh, and perform. Uh, look nice, but yeah, definitely it looks really, really nice. Like this super a lot. And then uh, I was really close on buying one of these ones, a uh, Corolla Hatch. Uh, they just didn't have the color that I wanted. And the color that I wanted was like a blue. And so they didn't have it and I was like, nah. But yeah, I think they're really aggressive. I think they look very nice. Dropped and wheels and like this one. And it's, it's just great. It works. They let some BMWs come in. They, I know they had blocked it off. So very well organized. Very well organized. And these cars are um, immaculate. These ones are the ones I like a lot. Ooh, that beefy tire set up in the front. Very nice M5. I don't know if it's an M5 though. I think it's just a 5 Series. Very, very cool. Super, super cool. Nice set of cars, nice set of wheels. Super nice. How's it going, Mike? How you doing? Mike from Stansworks. Just, you know, a little bit of a fanboy moment, but uh, I, I kept the cool, I think. I think I just, how's it going, Mike? What do you guys think? <laughs> um, but yeah, damn. Now this. This is as, as far as extreme, expensive, exotic as I get. This, yes, this grabs my attention. It just, big shout out to the owner, Greg Inostick, Inostick. But this is definitely my cup of tea, wide body, 997s. Love it, love the color of it too. Just completely nailed it. Sorry, bud. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful right here. Riga Masters on this uh, Porsche. I don't know if it's still for sale or already sold, but I know I saw this car a while back. It was for sale and um, so, so nice. You guys can see that I like certain cars. A couple of people here. A lot of nice cars. Um, same thing. I'm going to try to battle the music behind. I, I guess it's that's their thing, you know, but oh, uh, tell me. Eric, what's up, compa? Come on, yeah, right? Yeah. I was talking to Eric and Gabe. Uh, they came in really early. This Porsche right here, this is exactly, um, this This is, yeah, my respect. Um, there was so much money, so much time invested into this. And uh, I was able to see the build series and it's so cool to just see like the details. Every little detail was taken into consideration to this type of build like this. Everything is documented. Um, and so to be able to see it in person is definitely, um, it's cool, man. It's 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 nice. Look at that fitment. That's perfect. Look at that fitment up front. That's perfect. So, yeah, definitely, this is my cup of tea, um, and this is you know hundreds and thousands of dollars, and um, yeah. Uh, Rywire brought out the S2000 electric, electric S2000, picking with the big brake. Think of the details, love it. These cars are really, I really, really like this Mercedes Benz. Um, the interior, everything about it, you know. Maybe if I do something to Jackie, it'll be something similar like this with a pattern on the seat and on the on the side of the doors. Very beautiful. More cars coming in. Very nice. All right, so that is going to take some time. So, all right. First wide body car that I actually, uh, I'm excited to see is this one. It's a BMW. I think it's an uh, M8, if I'm not mistaken. Um, beautiful, beautiful car, man. It's just so, so nice. Um, love the livery because it's it stays true, right, to the colors of the BMW. One of none. I <laughs> love it. So, yeah, definitely this is a nice car. Um, brings my attention. I'm not going to go into that area, just mostly because of the music. Um, I, I mentioned in the Rivals and Coffee, I, I don't like the music in the background, just it's loud. And I don't feel like yelling. Um, I'm sure I'm missing a lot of cool builds. 
and I'm okay with that. Um, but I see a lot of Skylines and um, the other cars I've seen in person before. This BMW pulled up at a later time. He rolled in with the 5 Series that I told you guys. And this thing is beautiful. Very beautiful, very mint. Very nice. I like, uh, it's, they seem very organized. Ooh, look at that car right there. Nice. They seem very well organized and that's, that's good to see because, you know, you kind of need that, especially when you're dealing with um, very expensive cars. So there's a little corner back here that uh, they're still housing some cars. Um, these beautiful NSAs with uh, Mugen wheels rolled up. It's just so nice. Very beautiful, very beautiful. So they're starting to roll, um, set the cars over here. RX-7. I like the color on this car. Very cool. Big muscle. Man, these are big cars. Do you want to park in here? Or very big car. Because I was going to have you park over here. So nice. Yeah. So nice. Okay. Another Supra. Advent wheels, if I'm not mistaken. Which I'm probably am. No, they're Advent wheels. Swan neck. Looking very, very aggressive. Looking very nicely. But yeah, look at that muscle. Very nice muscle car. Charger. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then let's show some look some of these other cars. Oof. Beautiful black Ferrari. Beefy tire setup, to say the least. Very nice. Mm, beautiful Subaru Forester. Really like how it just hanging out here. They did the upgrade STI brakes setup. Front and rear, nice. I think I've seen this car before, before it even became this green. I could be wrong though, but this is great. Really, really like what they did with that. That's what you call uh, workmanship, man. With the baby and recording, who says you can't do it? scraping really like the way this NSX sits super low beautiful very nice it's 5 series with these beefy tires it's beautiful super cool I'm kind of uh, wondering like what is who's getting in who's not because I see some cars that are you know obviously like that McLaren is very expensive but then I see other cars that are just stock so like who's who's getting in and who's not it's kind of weird but so far pretty cool I'm gonna snap some pictures of some some of the cars I really really like alrighty so that's the coverage from the inside and then we're gonna finish it up with this last lineup 
Um, yeah, like I mentioned, a lot of these cars don't grab my personal attention. They're be beautifully, you know, done. But, um, you know, it's just different. It's just different. So this is cool. Little truck. Very, very nice. Little Honda. Acti. Acti. Key cars. Very nice. Little details as a present. Uh, Ralph. Uh, he's the owner of the location. This is beautiful. Way, way beautiful. I really like this a lot. The work wheels. All black. Very cool. Very cool. Vader 911. Uh, appropriate plates. Um, yeah, part of it too, I don't, I'm not really excited where I left Jackie. It's like in this little corner and uh i'm like i don't know i um it is what i thought a, a, a lot of it was ex was i expected which is white bodies and exotics um which they're cool maybe one day when i get to afford those maybe that's gonna be my interest but i don't know i think you just this type of taste that you want the taste is like this this is cool i like this white body but on an evil 10. i don't know maybe as a uh, I haven't been able to experience uh, what it is to be in a white body Lambo, so I don't know. So, but yeah, cool cars, Corvettes, uh, Mercedes Benz. That's 2000 from um, Fast and Furious movie. Careful. I saved her life and she never knew. See, this is cool. This is a white body that I. Very, very nice. Super, super wide. Super rad. Wow. It's gorgeous, evil, man. The guy who drives this has to be really skinny because those seats are tiny. <laughs> man, this is beautiful. This is cool. That's my cup of tea, yes. Let me take some pictures of it. So, so nice. Very, very nice. One of my favorites for sure, the Evil. GTR is cool. Super is cool. Oh, yes. Love this color. Love, love the color. 992. Nice wing. Okay. Very cool. Love the simplicity of this uh, generation, but it's so classy, super classy. Oh, yes. I've always said this is the most uh, exotic that I'll go. Porsche. It's just beautiful. So simple. GT. 991 GT. Beautiful. Wow. Love the green. Thousand looking proper, but yeah, this is gonna be the end of the coverage for this cars and coffee. Um, again, very short compared to the cars that you know are here. Uh, a lot of it just doesn't grab my attention. Like, that's a cool Lamborghini SUV, which I don't know if they come white body like that or did they add the white body? Very big, expensive wheels, HRE. I think it's cool, you know, but you know. I'm sure a lot of you are gonna be like, it's because you can't afford one pal. Honestly, I don't think that is. If I could afford it, <laughs> I would buy like five Datsuns and do them all different. I would buy, you know, the same amount of money. I would buy like, you know, all that type of cars, but it is what it is. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that coverage. It's small, but um, yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.